speak and act to oppose the belief that white supremacy racism is God's religion or is a part of God's religion. Reason Explanation It has been said that God made white people for the purpose of serving God and God made black people for the purpose of serving white people. This could be true. Unfortunately there is much to indicate that this is true. If true however there is much to indicate that the smartest and most powerful white people have chosen not to serve God. There is much to indicate that the smartest and most powerful white people, white supremacists, have chosen to subvert and or replace God. They have apparently chosen to make themselves God. It is unfortunate, non-just, and incorrect for the smartest and most powerful of the people of the known universe to have organized themselves into a race. Not all white people presumably are members of a race, but apparently those who are smarter and therefore more powerful do function by choice as race members, racists, white supremacists. They have made racism their religion. They have made racism into the most powerful religion among the people of the known universe and made themselves the god of that religion. To confuse their victims, they have disguised their practice of racism by using the names and titles of many other religions and social concepts. This has helped them to refine their subjugation and abuse of their victims. They have chosen to have non-white people worship them for being white and supreme. They have attempted to make God and white supremacy one and the same. They have done all this for no ultimate purpose than to glorify white supremacy racism and to glorify themselves as white supremacists, racists. The basic speech and action of a racist white supremacist is only for the purpose of promoting falsehood, non-justice, and incorrectness as the functional foundation for racism white supremacy. The racists are masterfully skilled in the use of deceit and direct violence. It is reasonable to believe that racism does not serve God. Also, there is no reason to believe that a person can be a racist and serve God at the same time. If racism does not serve the purposes of the Creator, God, then it is the duty of the victims of racism, non-white people, as well as the duty of those white people who are not racist to speak and act to eliminate racism. It is also the duty of those white persons who are racists to stop being racists. If these duties are performed, conditions will then be better for the Creator's, God's, purposes to be served. The value of any religion should be determined by how it affects people in the way that they relate to each other as well as all that is in the universe. People who have great power were given the means and ability to develop that power. If people who have great power use that power to mistreat people, they have, by so doing, destroyed their reason for having that power. It is then the duty of those persons who have been mistreated to persuade those powerful persons to stop misusing that power. It is the duty of the mistreated persons to cause these powerful persons to be separated from their power. In causing this separation from power, it is correct for the mistreated to use correct social force and or correct counter violence. The correct purpose for producing, receiving, or sharing knowledge and or power is to reveal truth and to use truth in a manner that produces justice and correctness in order to produce peace. No people should do other than this. No people should be allowed to do other than this. Now, that is quoted from the United Independent Compensatory Code, page 174, under the area known as religion.